Tim, over to over to you uh, as well. Like, I want to get your view. I mean, do you do you envisage deals um, that will be sort of cross border deals with companies getting into the US, or again, are you, are you thinking it'll be more US company focused? You'll be working on in the future, the near future. You know, I think that is something that's going to be uh, driven a lot by potentially uh, interest rates here with the massive funding spending by the Fed and the potential um, currency valuation changes is going to be impactful here on how this is all going to uh, to shake out. And I think to build on some of the comments on Ignacio, certainly the supply chain um, and where your food is coming from is kind of raising in visibility and, and where the um, source of that food and, and where it's been along the chain and the supply chain. And, and that's something that I think is going to be a further driver of uh, domestic production in the U.S. and a desire to, um, you know, the, uh, for companies that will be recognizing here that there's more than just the lowest cost producer is there's also the political disruption um, the geopolitical risks that are that are out there with the tariff situation, with reprocessing in China, lack of credit um, in some Asian countries with the reprocessors. And so to be able to bring that all home, I think, is in, and have that supply chain to be domestically produced in the U.S. is something that a lot of people are focused on. And I think that can certainly be something that is uh, you know provided by outside investors. But I think there is a, a growing interest in uh, both the private equity community in the domestic market as well as in uh, and and so i think that's really going to drive more activity within the u.s uh, for u.s based businesses hmm. do, you, do you foresee there'll be more kind of um horizontal integration going on as well um from from u.s companies as a result of this well this i think the that was i think probably the the plan or maybe more longer term plans for folks, uh, you know, in the very beginning part of 2020 and what their longer term view is. But this uh, certainly has caused folks to understand their supply chain and customer base a lot better, given the dynamic and, and changes with food service and retail and being able to place that product. So, um, you know, I think at this point, there's there is in seafood in general, uh, in the US is one that is a lot of fragmented smaller players relative to the large protein players that we have in Purdue, Tyson, uh, JPS and the like. So until there's some larger scale, and I think that's where people are going to be continuing to get bigger in their own spaces. So I don't foresee necessarily to your comment on horizontal, that is going to be specific to certain companies. But um, I think the the goal for a lot of folks right now is to continue to get scale and diversify their uh, their customer base and end markets.